my goodness. So what we're doing today is, I warned you guys, we're gonna be doing some pattern testing. And we wanted to do something that pertained directly to the channel for waterfowl hunters in general. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be patterning number four, number two, and BB shot. And we're gonna, we're gonna do it on this uh, computerized analyzer. So we're gonna be shooting paper on a computer shot analyzer. No, I've never used one. A lot of you have probably never seen it. It is one heck of a piece of equipment. So, number two, number fours, BBs, and uh, we're gonna see the difference. And um, this has been a really requested video. You guys have been wanting more patterning and more explanation for good patterning videos. So, let's get after it. So we're doing two things. We're gonna, we're gonna be seeing the pattern, but as well, we're gonna be seeing what type of wound it creates. So. A lot of you guys have requested this. I have never had the means to do it, but check it out. We got the gel to shoot in. Ooh, it's cold. I just want to lay my face on it and go, oh, they actually have to keep it in a freezer, right? Yeah, 38 degrees. 38 degrees to keep it like this. It actually starts deforming and deteriorating after some time. The only reason I act like I know what I'm talking about is because Dan gave us a rundown earlier. Sure. So. Dan, you want to give us a quick rundown? Yeah, so ballistics gel, like you want to keep, if when you're doing experimentation and you're testing, you want a constant, right? So you don't want to have any variation. So the spec on it is 10% uh, ballistic gelatin, maintain 38 degrees, and then you come and we actually shoot it to calibrate it. You shoot a BB through it, and I believe, I gotta remember, I think it's 500 feet per second, so we just have a BB gun, run through chronograph, 500 feet per second, it should penetrate four inches. Penetrate four, four inches. inches, we know the gel is at the right temperature and the right consistency, and now we know we have a constant every time we shoot penetration test. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna give the old ballistics gel some, uh, <laughs> gonna throw some steel at it today. We're shooting steel, right? Shooting steel. Shooting steel, so the number four, the number two, <clears throat> and the BB, all ballistic gel, all steel shot today. So, we're gonna see what type of damage each three size shots do so it's gonna be really interesting so here we got alex you are the shotgun guy right no, you're shot the shell the engineer shot shell engineer for federal ammunition and and dan what's give him your title here i'm the product line manager so i work in marketing right and then i work with guys like alex to say you know here's the new products we want we want make this is what i need us to sell and alex goes out and gets it done alex has the extra fun job alex yes. actually figures yeah. it out you envy alex a lot of the days I, don't I, you I, I, <laughs> it's guys like alex that make guys like me and you talk smart when we get on <laughs> right. well big shout out to alex he's going to give us a rundown of what we got going on here because they have like it, i mean it's like a professional setup going on here way way more way better than the old vice in the backyard trick that I was doing with a string. So, so uh, right here we have our fancy gun fixture. So, you know, after a long day, you don't feel like standing around and shooting it from the shoulder all day. So right. we have this recoil reducing oh, gun stand. Oh, got a little recoil action there, and, okay. Uh, 40 yards down, we have a pattern analyzer called the Lucky Weasel. Lucky Weasel. So you can see the little red dot down there, so. From down here, you want to get your gun pointed right at that red dot so you get it nice and centered. Then over here, we have this very modern computer. <laughs> and load your round, pull the trigger, and it'll shoot the paper down there. It'll come out, take a picture of it, and it'll send that information to the computer right here. Gotcha. And it'll display your pattern, and then uh, it'll actually calculate your percent pattern efficiency. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Basically, it analyzes everything for you. It gives you numbers, it gives you every stat that you're looking for, so you don't have to go down there and actually look at it. You get a lot more done a lot quicker with this little contraption. What are we starting with, Alex? Uh, so we're starting with the uh, speed shot, WF-142 fours. We got four shot load, ounce and a quarter, three inch, 12 gauge. These, this is a blue box that I'm always talking about, guys. This is what I'm using on every duck hunt, every goose hunt. The blue box, by far my favorite, like I always said. It's like when I went to blue box, you're never gonna go back. So this load, the four shot load, has 226 pellets. So what you do is that computer, we input that, and then it'll, it'll input the number of pellets. Oh, gotcha. That I captured in that 30 inch circle. And gotcha. You your percentage. Gotcha. All right, load her up and squeeze the trigger, huh? Go ahead. So you just kind of hold it down? Do you have to hold it down no. or anything? You yeah, just pull it? Just pull the trigger. Oh, gotcha. Hold it and just fire it. It doesn't recoil too bad. That's 
nifty. Oh, that is nifty. So as you can see here, we're a little low on the paper, so on our next shot, we'll raise it up a little bit on the stand. Gotcha. So right here, it's at 76.1%, uh, and you said over 70% is what you're looking for every time, right? Yes. So that's well over the average. What they're looking for is over 70% of that shot hitting on target. 76.1, looks pretty darn good to me. And that was number four. We're gonna do number two and BB next. So we're moving to number twos now. Last shot was number fours, it's number two. The number fours uh, on average have 226 pellets in that shell. When you step up to a number two, the pellet is getting larger. So you're gonna get less amount of pellets in the shell. This one, in fact, has 156 pellets in it. Number two shot, 156 pellets. As compared to number four shot with 226. So now you're kind of seeing the difference. We're gonna step up in pellet, you're gonna get better penetration, and we should have more pellets on target. So the larger the shot, typically the tighter the pattern groups that you'll get. So if you imagine you have more pellets, there's more dispersion. So right, right. less pellets, larger pellets, and more, uh, their show. more pellets, the more they can knock around and kind of do what they That's want right. too, especially being still. A lot of you guys know lead shot will compress and actually will pattern a lot better than still. Yes. Lead shot, I mean, usually will pattern much better than yes. still because still likes to bang and kind of do what it wants. So uh, how it works is the bigger the shot, the better it should pattern because there's less amount of pellets in the shell. So we're gonna go ahead and load this old beast. So number two, blue box, ready to go. You ready, babe? Yep. We ready back there? Okay. Three, two, one. That is satisfying every yeah. single time. So on the number twos on that last shot, we had 124 pellets in a 30 inch circle. So that equivalents to a 79.5% pattern if you're seeing it, which is a really good pattern if you're talking about waterfall loads. Right, really good. Especially dealing with still yet again. All right, so number four had 226 uh, pellets in the uh, shell. Number two had 156. Now BB, much larger. We're gonna go down to 88, 87 on the average pellets are in here. So in theory, the BB should pattern even better. Correct. Correct. You have less pellets yet, and they're larger, and they carry more momentum. Right. They should pattern better. They stay on course better because they're larger, more dense. Yep. Let's give it a whirl. This is Blue Box BB. Let's give her a whirl. You guys ready? Clear? Three, two, one. Well, here we go. This is our stats on the BB. And as you can tell, literally you can count on your hand how many actually are outside of that large circle. That right there, boys, is a dead goose. So on that one, we had 73 pellets. 73 pellets on target. In a 30-inch circle. Gotcha. And that equivalents to a 78.7% .7 pattern efficiency. So this is what your smart little system does. Everybody, now you know, when I was trying to describe it, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, I don't know how to describe this thing. It's, it's, it's neat and it's high tech. But as you can see, this is how Federal gets their blue box, gets all of their shotgun ammunition to spec. And, and this is how they push their product line to be better and better and better. By systems like this, if they come down, if they change something, they come down and they test it every single time. They never not test anything. They are sticklers on testing and making sure that their product works. You ready to uh, you ready to shoot some ballistic gel? Ballistic gel. You ready to get ballistic up in here? I know Dan's ready to get ballistic. Okay, so on a lot of the shotgun videos that we did in the past, you know our Mythbuster videos, there was a ton of you that were like, Bobby, you guys need to shoot ballistics gel. And dude, I don't have the ability to just make ballistic gel unless it's easy. Is it easy to make ballistics gel? It's a process. You can do it, but it helps if you're set up for it. Like right, here, right. So. So another big shout out to Dan and Federal for getting us down here to see how shotgun shells actually perform, how they penetrate ballistic cubes. All right, here we go. This poor cart here, you can tell she's a little beat up. She gets shot quite a bit, but... Uh... And in the name of penetration today, that's what this test is gonna be about. 
penetration. So we're still gonna use the number four shot, the number two shot, and then BB. And this test is all about penetration at 40 yards. So 40 yards, four shot, two shot, and BB. Let's see how deep each shot penetrates. If I'm thinking right, as we go down from number four, number two to BB, the bigger shot ought to penetrate deeper. So let's see what type of results we get here. Well, Alex getting her dialed in here. I'm telling you what, that jig right there. That flick? Yeah. That's, saves, a, that's a, a lifesaver. Man. Literally you, saves your I shoulder. Mean, you know, shooting steel is one thing, but we use this for, you know, whether it's target load steel or turkey loads. I mean, turkey Whoa, loads are killer goodness. slugs. How many, how many turkey loads when you get a new shot show or when you're, you know, fixing something, how many, sh how many loads can you possibly shoot down here on a test? Oh, it could be, I mean, hundreds to thousands over the lifetime of the project. Right, yeah, right. So it's a lot. So you imagine, I mean, shouldering, shouldering down here, all the testing that they do, that jig, I mean, it saves your shoulder for sure. And it's accurate, keeps the gun accurate. Uh, on, a, on a patterning video, the one of the first ones we did, I shouldered the gun and I couldn't keep it where it needed to be on paper. So this is the jig that y'all were telling me about. Babe, you gonna give her a go? Get up there. What do you wanna do first? I do four. We'll do, we'll go down the same four, two, then BB. Okay. Back. Yep, I'll put your right hand right here. Your left hand on this one. Safety's off. Now, now if you pull a trigger, it'll fire. Safety's yep, you just kind of hold it down. Don't pick it up. Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> so what we're going to do here, I like to get you guys to comment. we got to get a little community getting, getting going down there. So you guys got to comment. How far do you think the number four penetrated? I'm going to guess three inches. Three inches, good guess. Three inches, a good guess. Yeah. Penetration yeah. on the four shot. Oh wow, you can really see it. Check that out. Wow. That is cool. So what Dan's doing, he's putting a light behind oh, it, and then you can really see it. So this is our entry wounds here, and you can clearly see. I mean, it's just a straight line all the way through that ballistics gel. What is that? That's one, two, what, three, three and a half inches? Yeah, about that. That's about three and a half good. inches. Oh yeah, the old cart got nailed cart yet takes again. A little bit of a beat. <laughs> yeah. These processes, so. yeah. So number four shot looks like right at three, three and a half inches That's of really penetration, good. and there's nothing that wandered off. I mean, you're talking a straight line where they all stopped at the same point. Pretty interesting. So all you guys out there, yeah, that say number four shot can't kill a goose at 40 yards. You better become a better shot because that right there done proved it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna shoot it from the other side with number two shot. Uh, okay, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move straight to BB. Cause like I've always told you guys, blue box number two is my go-to shell for ducks, for geese, for snow geese. Number two shot. So I wanna use number two shot at the last cause I'm really interested about how far it might penetrate. Again, guys, you gotta drop your comment down below. How far is BB gonna penetrate? We're looking at about three to four. It was right at about three and a half inches on the number four. So be sure to drop the comment down below. Final. Oh, I'm gonna guess BB. What's your guys' guess? I'm gonna guess like, Five, five inches? Should be closer to five, man. Close to five inches? Yeah, I'm gonna guess five inches. Let's just guess five inches. Wow. Oh, oh wow. wow, that's really far. It's like that's more than five, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's some penetration. Look at the size difference. I mean, just look at the size difference. Number four to BB. Yeah, you can feel it. That's a definite one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd say six and a half to almost seven inches for sure. Yeah, and we're, I mean, and we're at shooting at 40, right? So right. your comment about the goose earlier with four, I mean, it works, but you can see why right. going to bigger helps, you know? Right. So if you've got de decoying geese and they're right on you and they're landing, you know, we call it early season loads. We shoot fours all the time, right. you know, threes, fours all the time. For right. But as it gets later, a little further, or, or snow goose hunting, where you might have to reach out and touch them a little more, right. that's where your bigger pellet's gonna carry further, fly through the air further, and give you a little more power. Right. All right, we're resetting the block. So we've shot this side, we've shot the other side. Now we're gonna kind of shoot the middle. Number two shot is up. Um, I'm gonna guess um, 
four and a half inches. Uh, you would think that it'd be right at about four and a half inches. Fire hole. Fire hole. How deep do you think? Six. Six inches? Yeah, I think on the outer portion it'll be probably six, maybe yeah. the middle closer to five. What do you guys think? Five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Four to five. Oh, wow, look out. Oh, we got. Oh, here, yeah, here's our line, huh? Right yeah. there. You can see it. That is close to Yeah. Wow, about four to five. All right, what do you think? Right at wow. four. Pretty much right at four. four. Depends which one you pick. Now, earlier, Dan said, like Dan said, as this warms up, basically the less dense it gets, pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. As it warms up, the BBs are actually going to travel farther through it. Yeah, in the, in the block, potentially. So this block has been sitting out a little while, so you'll see the ones on the edge have traveled a little further. Right. So if we were to do this and have a true control, we want to find out, we would have pulled it right out of the fleas or shot it, put it back in, reset up, pull it back up. Gotcha, shot gotcha, it gotcha. We're gone really fast. Right, right. So. But for this YouTube channel, that's way too much work. <laughs> So yeah, right at right at four inches. We finally got the tape measure. Let's go ahead and get a good measurement on the BB and the number four. Where are we sitting at with that BB? Uh, right around five. Right around five consistently, okay. And then the number four down yonder is sitting three and a half-ish? Three, three and a half. Three and a half. So again, guys, like I say, a lot of you guys rely on T-Shot. I've heard it so many times. Bobby, you need to be shooting tee shots if you're gonna be taking 40 and 50 yard shots. Guys, no, no and no. I, I, who wants to pay for tee shot? Number two is for me, I mean honestly, number two is a good all around shot. It is, number two, I'm very partial to ones. Number one. And and the reason for that, I went on a hunt in Canada when I was young and all I could find was ones and I went up there and I had the best shoot of my life. And gotcha. I think I hearkened back. To that. Right. I feel like I shot the best and I had a great time. So ones is where it's at for Dan Gunn. Right. There you go. What's your go to shot size? I'm a two shot guy. Two shot guy for everything, pretty much, right? Anything waterfowl. Alex is a big, big waterfowl guy. One of the biggest waterfowl guys here at the plant, right? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> He's like, now don't be getting me in trouble there. <laughs> But number two shots, what he prefers as well, and as you can tell, it did a great job. Oh, it's got chambers. Yeah, good got looking wad there. The first times they came down here. Oh, W11 wad. W11s. I have no idea what that means. It's a waterfall wad. Waterfowl <laughs> wad. W11. Learn something new every day. So Dan just made a really good point, and it's true. Patterning, patterning your gun is one of the most important things we can do as waterfowl hunters, as wing shooters in general. When we're trying to shoot a flying bird, it's good to know to rely on that pattern to know what it's going to do. Yeah, it's it sounds cliche, and we you know when you ask like final advice, and I'm like, pat, pattern your gun, shoot it at a piece of cardboard, put it, even draw a picture of a duck on there. Right. And what I find best, shoot a piece of cardboard, and then you can flip the cardboard around. And you can actually makes it easier to count your holes. You don't necessarily have to hand count to find out if I'm getting 74.2%, but just find out where the center of the pattern is at. And it, it's gonna make a big difference because you might realize that you might have to float the bird, which I mean, your pin is on the end of your barrel and your bird might be sitting and flying up here, or you might have to cover your bird up depending on the point of aim of your, your shotgun. Right. That might make all the difference between a good day and a bad day. Right, right. right. So do that, you'll know where your gun's shooting. Try different choke tubes, you know, try a modified constriction, try a steel full if you're going after waterfall. All that's gonna make a big difference. And you might find that magic combo of constriction versus pellet count. And you know, ones may pattern greater at gun, or it could be double Bs is better. And that's the go-to load for you, depending on the situation. Right, depending on your setup. You always got a pattern to find out what suits your setup best. Yeah. Well, gotta dispose of the gelatin. I can only imagine how much this part weighs. How heavy do you think they are? I mean, a piece? I mean, probably every bit of 40 pounds, I would imagine. They're heavy. Oops, they don't maneuver very well. Oh. Oh. How's the smell, Dan? <laughs> it would be a lot worse. I thought 
thought they might like, cause it's empty. I thought they might separate or something. Yeah. He laid them so nicely, you just chucked it. Well, it could splash on you. you He'll splash it. Oh, well, we are back at the hotel, and let me tell you what, what a long day, what a long two days, but I'm telling you what, they might have been long, uh, we might be exhausted, but it was all worth it. We had so much fun at the Federal Factory, I mean, big shout out to Federal, um, they really hooked it up, they uh, actually had all that content, all the shooting we did, um, all the all the events they took us to a twins game the hotel that we're in yeah they had all this planned old Dan shout out to old Dan he knew exactly what would be good for the channel and what you guys would actually like so big shout out to Dan you guys need to give Dan a big old thank you down in the comment section down below he's an amazing guy that works at federal and uh, He's watched the channel for long enough now. He knows exactly what we do here and what you guys want to see. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you did, you need to hit that thumbs up button. And remember to hit that notification bell down there wherever it's at. But me and Mama, we are here at the hotel and I'm telling you what, it is pig out time. What, what all you got around you, babe? I mean, Well, we what? didn't decide which dip we wanted. So we have a couple dip options, some <laughs> chips cookies there's ice cream still over there we may have to go get in a little bit we got <laughs> pepsi we got bottles of water we're just ready to veg out and we're, enjoy a kid-free moment actually that's exactly what i was going to say you are <laughs> witnessing two parents without kids yeah. that have a lot of work to do in our veggie state we're just vegging out we really hope that you guys enjoyed these. It was awesome to bring the wifey along, have her just crack open the old grease gun. How awesome mm -hmm. was that? I mean, honestly, I've, I've seen pictures of grease guns. I've known what grease guns are, uh, but never in my life did I ever expect to, to shoot one. And let alone go to the Federal Factory, go down in their private basement, and just literally have full reign to do what we wanted. They treated us like queens and kings there. So big shout out to Federal yet again. Uh, awesome, awesome people, great people. But thank you guys for being here. If you have any video suggestions at all, you know what to do. Leave them down in the comment section below. If you want me to go do something, all you gotta do, drop the comment down there and let your brother know. But we will see you all on the next one. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I want you to say peace. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got